I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to talk about the Holy Spirit abuse in African Pentecostalism. The Holy Spirit abuse in African Pentecostalism. When the use of functionality of a person, an idea, a thing or a philosophy is not well understood, abuse is inevitable. The Holy Spirit is part of the triune and he is the Allos Paracletos. When Jesus said, I will send to you another comforter, he was saying, I will send to you a los paracletos, a strengthener, a helper, a guide, a defender like me. That means the Holy Spirit is a personality. That's why he can be grieved. That is why he speaks. That is why he moves. And he is the great incubator. When the earth was formless and void, the Holy Spirit was hovering around the earth like as a hen hovers over formless eggs at a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade for 21 days, then feathers, beaks, bones, flesh form inside the cheek and the cheek breaks out, is liberated. That's why in the presence of God, the Holy Spirit, there is liberty. There is the release of potentials. If the Holy Spirit in Africa is only too quick, it is an abuse. If a man of God will want to excite his audience and must say, matututu. and the people say, hey, it is an abuse. Anytime you speak in tongues, there is the need for interpretation in public places. If not, it is self-advertisement and self-aggrandizement. In fact, if you are prophesying in public, there should be, with by speaking in tongues, there should be confirmation. These are things we have experienced as we were growing up as Christians in the 80s, even as unbelievers. But today, charlatans have taken over just to da, 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 fall down, break chairs, foam in your mouth, roll on the ground. I have been in that level of Christianity when we, if you doubt me, ask any person in Abba that knows me or in the full gospel business men's fellowship in the East that knows me or the scripture union or Christian Pentecostal mission or Church of God mission in the East. We, I suddenly found that people are falling breaking plastic chairs, foaming in their mouth, rolling on the floor, um, turning around like uh, propellers, but their lives were not changing. For every guest speaker that came, they will fall. For every guest speaker that came, they will cover them with cloth. But they remain daft, remain dull, remain poor, remain ineffective. As a scientist, I started questioning what was happening. And I realized that you can fall down, that is, the weight of the presence of the Holy Spirit called Dogza falls you down, but if the Holy Spirit does not work on your mind or your body, you will remain the same. Oh boy, we threw dresses, we made people fell, interpreters fell. But several of them remain the same. So, 
the Holy Spirit must lead to inspiration. Inspiration. I didn't know what I was going to share today online. I didn't premeditate this. But as I woke up this morning, I woke up with this inspiration. Because the Holy Spirit leads you into truth. The Holy Spirit inspires. As I was sleeping, he was incubating these thought processes in my mind. That's how I write my books. That's how I get topics for my books. One day, somebody at um, Alvani Koko College of Education, um, then it was College of Education, I don't know what it is now, at Oweri, saw all the books I had written, and he spoke in Igbo language. He said, is it only one man that wrote all these books? Does he sleep at night? Yes, I wasn't sleeping at night. And when I was, that was before 40 and a little bit beyond, I was always inspired to write. If the Holy Spirit does not inspire you, you will perspire like every other person. So, the Holy Spirit must educate you. He teaches. He is the great teacher, not experience. The Holy Spirit is the best teacher. It will shock you to know that I have not formally been to a Bible school. But I lecture in Bible schools. I lecture ministers of God from different denominations. He teaches me. He educates me. I was teaching pastors when I was a Sunday school teacher. So if your intellect is not expanding, if your intellect is not developing, if your intellect is not bringing fresh ideas, all your da 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 da, send down the Korea or Buscata, Shakiri, where send that, ba 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 ba. Uskapa, is abuse of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit must give you insight people see but people of insight see beyond what others are seeing david's brother saw giant and statistics but david had an insight that this is an uncircumcised philistine that had a death sentence on him because even god was to slay the sons of moses until Zipporah circumcised them. So, insight. Insight to create wealth. Insight into science. Insight into medicine. Insight into anything. I lectured entrepreneurship in a federal university without studying entrepreneurship. He taught me. He educated me. Not only education by information, he cultured me. He groomed me. The paraclet grooms. As I became more popular, he groomed me how to relate with people. I was telling my wife that one of the best gifts I have had from the Holy Spirit is his ability to give me insight into the future without my totally understanding the future and start behaving in a way that when I get to the future, the future will not embarrass me. One of the things the Holy Spirit taught me is scarcity. Over availability reduces value. So when we came into town, some pastors were holding meetings. They should not invite me to their churches. They were questioning my background, educational background. Imagine some of them daft people were questioning whether I was a medical doctor. What is, what is very exciting about being a medical doctor that I will use it to be intimidating people? What is it? Am I even using it? Is it feeding me? No. God, the Holy Spirit taught me that as you are coming to Ugeli, don't make too many friends because the things I will use you to do, they will be provocative. They will be competitive. And when my bishop, B.C. Edwarsin, was praying for me, he said, go and be greater than what has been great there. So 
When I came here, I was strategically, instinctively following the leading of the Holy Spirit to do what I was to do. So he educated me, gave me insight. It will shock you to know <laughs> that uh, the Pentecostal fellowship in Ugeli, when I withdrew, I, I didn't used to go to meetings because uh, he, the Holy Spirit was teaching me that I needed to be different from their thought processes for me to make a mark. Somebody just came one day with letter or suspension, as if I wrote application. Did I fill a form? And I said, me too, I suspend you. Do you know that they started dodging to come and invite me to their churches after the gang up? But the Holy Spirit had taught me in advance that scarcity increases value. I went to preach in a church recently and it was awesome. Immediately they sent another letter I should uh, come and speak in another of their conferences. I told Pastor Abraham to inform them that I only go to a place once in a year that I have given them the one of this year. I was not coming until next year. Somebody just called me yesterday, Barara, can you come and speak in our church? I told her, where I am speaking in Lagos has been booked two years in advance. They bought the ticket a long time ago. And so I knew that scarcity, and so the Holy Spirit taught me, and income outside preaching and church and ministry. So that if you don't want to go preach, you have something to feed on, you have something to eat. You have something to train your children. You have something to live your life. And don't derive your relevance from preaching. Derive your relevance from impact that you make. So it teaches. Then the next thing I want to say about the Holy Spirit is audacity. <laughs> audacity. I know they fear. <laughs> I know they care. I know they care who I won't weep. Who, who got there offended? I don't care. I don't care. But I take precautions. I don't want to go into slander, malicious, whatever. So I'm a very shy person, extremely shy person. When I tell people, they don't understand. But once the Holy Spirit comes upon me, my driver will say, Irina Kwacha, that is the spirit comes to fall upon me. Say, when the Spirit comes to fall upon our God, He changes. Once the Spirit of God comes upon me, I metamorphose. I'm going to speak somewhere. They are going to, the top politicians of that state will be there. <laughs> A Guguinization. I'm going to speak on good governance. It will be tough. Wow. It will be tough. It will be awesome. They will be glued to their seats. Some of them will pee on their pants because I will say what no man dares to say. The person inviting me said that, Dr. Poki, I know you tread where lions fear. That is it. It's not my natural self. My natural self is very withdrawn, reserved. But when the Spirit of God comes upon me, I'm a totally different person. You will say, is this not Jesus, the Son of Joseph, the carpenter, whose brothers and sisters we know. If the Holy Spirit does not lead to this transformation, this, this radiance, this luminance, this expressive power in you, all you are doing in church, rah, 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 all the anointing oil they are pouring on your head is just thinning your head. You anoint an idiot, it becomes a more dangerous idiot. I am Dr. Charles Apoki. There is a webinar I'm organizing on the 13th and on the 14th of September. Register for it by sending a message to plus 234-7052-136763. Don't send me an SMS. Send me a WhatsApp message. And I have properties for sale. In fact, the last statement I made about audacity, many of you are very talented, very anointed, very gifted, very intelligent, but the boldness 
to express yourself is absent. And I release that grace of audacity upon you. The same Holy Spirit that removed timidity, inferiority, complex, and, and uh, being afraid of being criticized. I release the same Spirit of God, allows Paracletus, upon you that you will be bold enough to declare the goodness of God and manifest your destiny. Remember, the number is plus 234-7052-136763. If you receive that grace, say, I receive. Now me, you did talk. God bless you.